So what? Your whole life flashed before your eyes and you realize you're unhappy here and need to quit? Something like that. Another day, another doctor leaves, Gray Sloan. Richard Flood tells Deadline that he was actually let go from the show, but he says, honestly, I was very happy. I felt it was the right time. When I started, I always thought, it says through, but I think it's supposed to say thought. I always thought that three years and something was really as much as I'd like to do. I'm always eager to see what else is out there and try and stretch myself in different directions and do different types of TV and film. Three years was perfect for me, so I was very happy. And your plan was to leave without saying goodbye? Yeah. Why? Because if I say goodbye to you, Gray, I might not actually leave. When it comes to the storyline of Owen telling Hayes about him assisting a suicide, Richard says, they came up with the exit. I didn't know until closer to when we were shooting how it would actually happen, but there have been a few conversations during the summer as far as how the season would unfold. And then during the season, there were more conversations about what might be good for the show and what might be good for me. In all the years since Abigail died, you're the first person who got it. You made me feel less alone. You helped me believe there might even be life after Abigail. Thank you for that. Now the other big thing was that Hayes was intended to be a love address for Meredith and that never really materialized. So Richard said the COVID focus season last season did affect things, but he also says, I suppose you'd wonder, would they have gotten together? Would they not? If they had got together properly, would it have worked? I think the fans may have liked to have seen more of what that dynamic might have been. It's certainly the response I'm getting, but it's not really for me to say. The team there, they know best, and they push the show in what direction they feel is right. And my job is to play my role as best I can, so I don't question those things too much. Take care. You too. When it comes to shooting his exit, Richard says, when I finished my last scene, everybody was there and everybody clapped and spent a bit of time with you, which I really appreciated. As far as doing the scenes, you're just playing the role in the story. You do the scenes and then that's it. You move on. He has a great actor's mentality in that he doesn't really feel tied to it. He's just like, yeah, it's done and moving on. That's what it is. I had a great time, I'm moving on. Yeah, Hayes, it was clear he was brought on to be a love interest for Meredith, but there was just no chemistry. Like that's the reality. There was just no chemistry. And I mean, I've watched Grey's Anatomy from the beginning and he was an all right character, but he certainly, I'm not dismissing him as an actor. He's a fine actor, but him being gone has no effect on this world whatsoever. Yeah, he had no chemistry with Meredith. I wasn't sure why he was still there for three years anyways. Look, when you saw Scott Speedman come back, that was just like the chemistry with him and Meredith is just, it's right there. So chemistry is something you just can't fake. You can't make happen. So Richard Flood is a fine actor. He had no chemistry with El Pompeo. It is what it is. Um, so him being gone, it doesn't affect me at all. Like how many characters have we seen leave Grey's Anatomy at this point? And I thought, you know, some characters leaving the show. I didn't think it could survive Sandra Oh leaving. It survived Sandra Oh leaving. So I'm not dissing Richard Flood as an actor at all, but he's a blip on the radar of Grey's Anatomy. And that's, that's a terrible thing to say, but I'm just saying, yeah, him being gone, I have, it doesn't affect me in any kind of way. But really, me watching the show now, I'm just watching it to watch Meredith Grey. And I've been watching Meredith Grey for 18 seasons, so that's who I'm still invested in. So every other character is disposable to me. I'm not dissing any other actor. It's just that I'm watching the show for Meredith Grey. So him being gone doesn't really have a big effect to me. And when it comes to this Owen storyline, the weird thing I find about it is that... So uh, Kim Raver's character... She was a soldier as well. She went through PTSD. So I don't really get how Owen thinks that she wouldn't understand assisting a former soldier for an assisted suicide when he was dying anyways. I find it really odd that Owen thinks that, I can't remember um, Kim Raver's character name, but that he thinks that she wouldn't understand that. So I find that odd storyline right now, but yeah, what do you think of Hayes' exit?